History of Gaming. In 1972, the first true video game was created by Nolan Bushnell and Al Alcorn of Atari. The game was very simple in that you hit a ball back and forth with two vertically scrolling paddles, and you played on an arcade machine. In 1977, the first at-home video game console was developed and released by Atari. The Atari 2600 offered a joystick and interchangeable cartridges. In 1981, Donkey Kong would be released, and the world would go crazy over this, including a character known as Jumpman, or later known as Mario. In 1989, the Game Boy was, is introduced by Nintendo. While this wasn't the first handheld gaming system, it was the most popular due to its ease of use and battery life. In 1995, the PlayStation was introduced, and it was priced $100 cheaper than its competition, the Sega. The Nintendo 64 was introduced in 1996, providing real competition to the PlayStation. In 2001, Microsoft enters the gaming industry with the Xbox, inducing competition with the PlayStation 2. Microsoft had the tech edge over the PlayStation, as fans seemed to enjoy the better graphics of the Xbox. In 2003, online gaming got a bump from Valve, with a game called Steam. Steam allowed players to update, download, and play video games from your computer. In 2006, the year after the Xbox 360 was released, the Nintendo Wii changed the game with a motion-sensitive gaming console. The Wii allowed you to play video games using your own motion. All you had to do was move the controller with limited buttons to control the game. By 2009, we all have cell phones smart enough to be able to play video games. The app Angry Bird is the prime example of this using touch control movements for the game. We now have advanced gaming systems such as the PS4, Xbox One, which allow you to play online with friends all around the world seamlessly. Graphics have only gotten better and better through the years. Some of the earliest video games were just text-based. There were no real graphics, just text. After this came vector graphics, which used geometrical primitives such as points, lines, and curves. Most games of this type were produced by Atari and the like. After vector graphics came full motion video. These are video games that rely upon pre-recorded television or movie quality recordings and animations rather than vectors or 3D models. After this came the jump to 2D. This used parallel projection to use two-dimensional bitmap graphics as opposed to 3D rendered triangle based geometry. There are games from the top down perspective or bird's eye view such as SimCity and Pokemon. There were also side scrolling games in which characters moved from the left to the right side of the screen. Some of the biggest examples of side scrollers are Sonic the Hedgehog and Super Mario Bros. Perhaps the biggest jump was from 2D to 3D. This allowed games to truly be lifelike. With 3D came first-person and third-person perspectives. This is how most games are played today. First-person allows you to play as if you were the character and allows you to see what they see. Some of the biggest first-person games are Half-Life, Call of Duty, Bioshock, Quake, Halo, and many others. Third-person shows you the whole character's body and surroundings. Some popular examples of third-person are Super Mario 64, Tomb Raider, Legends of Zelda, and Grand Theft Auto. The latest and greatest in video game graphics is starting to emerge with the invention of virtual reality. The Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, PlayStation VR, and the Samsung Gear VR are the four main headsets that allow people to live in their virtual game and play as if they are in the real world. Graphics have made huge jumps through the years, starting out with games like Pong, onto games like Crisis 3 and Project Cars, and finally to virtual reality. Some of the most commonly used consoles are the Xbox, the PlayStation, and the PC. Microsoft first introduced the Xbox 360 in 2005, which is still used today even though it is outdated. After that, the Xbox One was released, and the latest to be released is the Xbox One S. Sony came out with the PlayStation 3 in 2006 and the PlayStation 4 in 2013. The latest is the PlayStation 4 Pro. Earlier models than the 3 do exist, but aren't used by many pe people anymore. The PC is another console used for gaming. While most PCs are not built specifically for gaming, there are some that are and they can be very good for gaming. Each console I listed provides the ability to play online with other gamers using the same console. The consoles I just talked about were the most common ones and are the ones that are mostly used today. 
more people globally own a PlayStation rather than an Xbox, but Xbox sales are rising. PCs are the most popular console used to game compared to the Xbox and the PlayStation in a recent survey taken online. There are hundreds of games that gamers can choose to play for their consoles. PlayStation 4 has about 694 games to offer and the Xbox One has around 750. There will continue to be new consoles released by these companies as the years go on and they will continue to get better and improve the experience of gaming. Many of us have seen the transformation of how people interact with their phones. We all remember when our parents first got a flip phone for the first time. It was so cool and new, but had such limited capabilities. In a matter of eight to 10 years, phones have consumed our lives. We were constantly checking emails, text, and Snapchat. Any information that you were looking for is now in the palm of your hand. Mobile gaming has also exploded as mobile technology has expanded. Mobile gaming is mostly used by younger people who are just looking to kill some time. If you go to any airport and you look around at any children in the terminal, you will most likely see them playing games such as Candy Crush. Nintendo and Microsoft have produced gaming devices such as the Game Boy, DS, and PSP that were very popular before gaming on mobile phones took off. Mobile phones continue to be produced with more powerful processors and better screen displays, which allow for mobile gaming to continue to expand. I play on the uh, Xbox One and PC, so I don't play uh, video games all that often, but if I do, I play them on PC. I play on the Xbox One. I play on PC. I like gaming. It's a good way to waste time and money. I like gaming because it gives you a chance to like do stuff that you couldn't quite do in real life. What I like about gaming is it's just a way to unwind and you know chill after a long day. I uh, just like the stress relieving and the anxiety it takes away. The fact that it wastes time is pretty sweet. It makes me real entertained for a long time. So. Uh, my favorite game is My Summer Car, and I probably play it once, once a week, every two weeks. Right now my favorite game is uh, Battlefield 1. My favorite games are probably like Overwatch and Fallout New Vegas. Uh, my favorite video game is probably Red Dead Redemption. I played on my Game Boy Advanced Color. Yeah, like all the time. All the time. Pokemon. I didn't play video games at all when I was younger. I do play online and uh, I love it. Uh, except for when I have a bad connection and then the game's kind of screwed, but it's pretty fun. So. I do play online and I'd rather play online. It's more competition. Yeah. I don't really like to play online all that much, to be honest. Um, just because I like to play by myself and not have to worry about other people killing me. Yeah, I play online. I mean, sometimes it's a little annoying, but it's fun. And I do play online. And I think it's some of the worst things ever designed by human, like, anything. It's like its own small society of terrible people coming together to make an awful thing. Let's go! Nail!